ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your news shorts. We got the reporter outside. This is breaking news. It is also sad news as this is what's happening. Uh, how many of you are familiar with, as I take this off the screen here, how many of you are familiar with BNC, Black News Channel? Now, remember, the Black News Channel was a was a brainchild of J.C. Watts. Remember, J.C. Watts was a Republican congressman who served in Congress for many years. And at some point in time, he had enough. He retired from the Congress, decided that he had other interests that he wanted to endeavor in. He also felt disenfranchised or disenchanted. Let me say that disenchanted with the political system. And even knowing that as a black Republican, he could only go so far within that party. And so J.C. Watts, he got out of politics. Remember, he was a well-known football player in Oklahoma. And so the reason why I bring this up is because this is once again about accountability. We have a black news channel that is in a position where it may not even exist anymore because they had to lay people off. They're in the process. J.C. Watts was the one that was the brains of the idea of a black news channel. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you had a black news program. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your news short again. I am your host, Information Man of the Information Man Show. Make sure you subscribe to that YouTube channel. Once again, J.C. Watts, as I put him back on the screen, was the brainchild behind the Black News Channel. You could see it on YouTube. He was negotiating uh, deals with cable networks. When he went into this venture, he had to have a investment partner. And see, this is the issue right here. Black people we can never have something that we own outright. It seems that we can never outright own something without there being other people having their interests in our business. In this case, let's go with the owner, operator, CEO, the whole nine yard, the operator of one, the Jacksonville Jaguars. There it is. That's con. Khan is the owner, operator, and proprietor owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars in the NFL. Now, J.C. Watts had to bring him in as a interest, as a financial partner, or what we say a investor, right? And let's look at what what Khan owns in this investment. Okay, Khan has about $50 million that he invested in the Black News Channel. Jacksonville, Jack, Jacksonville Jaguars owner Khan will be the majority investor in the Black News Channel, which debuted on November 15th, an estimated 33 million cable and satellite households in the United States. So it's all over cable as well as YouTube. The network was founded by former Oklahoma congressman and University of Oklahoma quarterback J.C. Watts, who I just spoke of before and put on the screen. Oklahoma congressman and University of Oklahoma quarterback. It will be a minority owned and the nation's only provider around the clock cable news program dedicated to covering the perspective of African-American communities. I think this just may not continue. Now, there was an investor by the name of Bob Brilknight, who is a founder of Florida News Channel in 1998. He is the co-founder and CEO of that particular broadcasting company. 
The Black News Channel and Bob went into partnership with J.C. Watts, along with the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguar, who has basically a primary ownership in the Black News Channel. The Black News Channel will be based in Tallahassee, Tallahassee, Florida. It'll be in Florida. Tallahassee, Florida, initially reaching 14 markets, including New York, Los Angeles, Atlanta, Chicago, New Orleans, It has acquired affiliates, distribution agreements with cable providers such as Comcast, Charter, Dish TV, but may not be in every Comcast market on this planet, ladies and gentlemen. That's this man right here. That's that's Khan. So sometimes when we think something is black, all black owned, it may not all be black owned as you think. Now, J.C. Watts was the brainchild in the beginning. And then he brought in this man right here. I think he goes by the name of Prince Hare. Hare. Prince Hare is the CEO of operations of Black News Channel, which, by the way, they are they have some trouble. They're having trouble, ladies and gentlemen, this network is having problems that need to be talked about because we're only a few weeks or a week or so from Christmas. And this is the breaking news. They are already in the process of doing what they are in the process of laying people off. We're talking about staff. Now the black news network has a a total of 300 staffers. And there's already rumbling. Now, the reason why we know about this now is because an internal staffer, someone in the inside broke this story or leaked this information out. So basically, when I'm talking to you about right now, this wasn't supposed to get out to the public. This wasn't supposed to be public information just quite yet. And a staffer who said, you know what? The writing is on the wall, leaked this information. And this is how it got out. Let me go over here. Black News Channel, which is known as BNC, announced layoffs just this past Friday, just days before Christmas holiday. I am reaching out to you. This is the CEO I spoke of. And let me put him back on the screen here. This is Prince Sales Hare, who says this. I am reaching out in our workforce. Going back to, I am reaching out to you today with some very unfortunate news about the reduction in our workforce. This is stated by President and CEO Prince Sale Hare, who you see on the screen right now. In an internal memo attained by the RAP, the RAP was the one that this internal, that the staffer leaked this information to. As you know, throughout the course of this year, we have been expanding at a rapid rate. At the same time, the United States economics is facing some tough challenges several of which are heavy impacts on the media industry and the revenue streams that few are emerging enterprise i am incredibly proud of this team see when they start talking to you like this i'm incredibly proud of this team oh i have unfortunate news when they start buttering you up it's because they're about to get rid of you so he says it is un. so he says here I am proud of this team and all that we have built and accomplished, but you're about to get ready to get rid of them. Your work has been outstanding, but we have reached a point where considerable adjustments is needed. So this is the fancy words that they use adjustments. Just come out and say, you got to get rid of people. So a suitable adjustments are needed in order to protect the health of our business and keep BNC moving forward meaning to keep the business alive, right? The network alive. It was not immediately clear how many staffers will be impacted by the cuts at the Black News Channel, okay? But employees roughly are around, as I said before, 300 people. Let me go on to bring, uh, to put this on the screen as well for you. Uh, so once again, This is a difficult thing. The question I have to say is, are we as black people 
are we supporting our news media like we should? Because I remember once upon a time when BET used to have a full 30 minute, I believe it was 30 to 20, a 20 to 30 minute news program. Nobody supported it. They had to keep going back to just playing music videos over and over and over and over again because that pays the bills. But here we have a black news channel. And the question you have to ask yourself, they're having these financial problems where they have to lay off staff, just like BET had to lay off staff at one point in time before Viacon brought them up, brought them and picked them up because Bob Johnson sold the business, got out of it, made a bunch of money. Could this be the beginning of the end of another black news network amongst many that we have, amongst few that we've had? Is this the beginning to the end that eventually they're going to be like, the news network is defunct. It's no more. Once you start laying people off, that's already telling you that the ratings are not good. There's something not right. The next thing that's coming down the pipeline is that the network gets cut off altogether. Okay. Let me put these, these ladies, lady and gentlemen on here. We have Prince sale hall to the far right. Mike Hill, who I know from ESPN, right? And we have, I think that's uh, Sharon, Shannon, Sharon Reed. I think I believe that that's the anchor Sharon Reed that's in the middle there. This is going to impact. Let me go over. Let me go over one other area here. This is from a staffer. We kind of felt this was going to happen. A staffer who was not authorized to speak on behalf of the company told the rap on Friday, this past Friday, all 124 cable channels ranked by average viewership in 20. Check this out. Check this out. In a rating rank in, in a ratings ranking of 124 cable channels in 2021, the Black News Channel tied with with Comedy TV for second to last place with an average of 14,000 views. Do you understand how poor that is? 14,000 views. Some of us on YouTube can get more views than that. Throughout the year, beating only be, being sports. Now, being sports, I'm familiar with being sports because being sports is a soccer international sports channel where they show a lot of soccer and cricket and all these sort of things like that. International soccer in the world. All right. In comparison to the highest ratings cable channel out of all 124 is Fox News, which averages 2.36 million primetime views each evening in 2021. Many employees agree that ratings could have been better handled and, and dealt with in the networks and the way the network spent the money. And they're saying that. The black news channel did not market properly. They did a poor job of marketing and letting people know that one, A, they exist, and two, where you can find them. The channel offered 24-7 news sports entertainment coverage. The Tallahassee, Florida-based network is available in more than 50 million U.S. homes via systems networks and websites and of course youtube but yet they could not muster up enough views their ranking was very very poor and you got to say who's the blame for this is the blame just simply that the network didn't market themselves properly didn't handle their product property prop properly excuse me or is it that black people just weren't some black people weren't filling the production value or we just don't want to get news. We would rather be entertained by music, rappers, hip hop, the whole nine yard. And is it just that the network isn't engaged in drama? Is it because we're only attracted to the car crash that we only want to watch the news? That's about drama. I don't know, but I will say this to people on YouTube. 
is that this is the reason why it is important for us to have a voice and put our content out there on social media because we don't have many, if at all, any black, real black news networks. We have this particular news network that looks like it's not able to maintain its staffing. And this is why those of us on YouTube, we are very important because we need to fill that void when you have black news channels that may be going out the door, if not now, sometime soon. Former Oklahoma Republican Congressman J.C. Watts and veteran broadcaster. Look, I went over this before. Khan, I say again, who is the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. He owns a heavy stake in this pr franchise. Khan, this man you see on the screen right here, he has about a reportedly $50 million investment in the channel, and now he holds a majority stake. So you can't really say that the black news channel that was first brainchild by this brother right here, Republican conservative J.C. Watts, you can't necessarily say that it's black owned. You got to say that it's owned by Khan. And I think Khan might be uh, Middle Eastern. He ain't black. Now we know that. Among the network's main anchors. And let me put this back up here again. Amongst the network's main anchors, we got Sharon Reed, who I believe is who you see right in the middle. We got Mike Hill, who I believe you see to the left side. We got LaVon McGee, Dale Waters, and we got Mark Lamont Hill. You all know who Mark Lamont Hill is. He got into that big back and forth argument with uh, Joe, uh, Judge Joe Brown. And then he had he was the one that pondered that thought about, oh, uh, Dylan Roof shouldn't get the um, the death penalty because it would not change the death penalty. It would not change anything when other when black men are the ones that are being uh, taken out of here by the death penalty. He says some things that I did not agree with. But Mark Mullant Hill is a part of this network, which you can also find on YouTube. Then you have Kelly Wright. And then we have Charles Blow. Charles Blow is a columnist. He's an intellectual uh, he has written some pretty damn good articles as it relates to the things that black people go through in this society from an economic, social and political uh, perspective. OK, BMC did not immediately respond to the rap request for comment on the number of employees they'll be playing to lay off. But the bottom line is, folks, as this has been the breaking news. The bottom line is, is that they're about to lay off employees who make up a good majority of who operate and run the news network. And they look like me and you. It is a shame that this is uh, happening. But I have to ask the question again. Do these, is this happening not only because of the economic woes that they're having with the way society is going right now? And you know that there are more people watching social media. There are more eyeballs on YouTube. There's more eyeballs watching what we do than there are on mainstream media. When you look at CNN, their primetime show, it has been reported that they're having a hard time cracking a million people watching them because more eyeballs are over here in social media watching us. So... Is it that we don't like traditional news broadcasts anymore and that we just simply want something fresh, new, a different perspective? We want people that can give it to us in a way that we can relate to them, not some trained broadcaster. Could that be what it is? Possibly. Or could it be that black people have just, just have not supported this network? Or could it be what the staff insider said is that the organization itself has poorly, fistfully, poorly managed their money in terms of proper marketing of the network and getting it off the ground in that way. Could that be? I think it's a little bit of everything. I think it's poor management, poor production value, possibly the way they're marketing it. It may be poor support by those that look like me and you, those that are listening, that look like me. 
it could be maybe the cable companies are marginalizing, underestimating and undervaluing the black news channel. Maybe the cable providers are putting it in a spots in time in, a, in time zones that are poor. Meaning what I'm saying by this is maybe the black news channel is coming on at a time that does not allow them to get the views that they need. Maybe the cable networks are doing a bad job of placing the black news channel where it needs to be to be able to flourish. So we need to keep an eye on this because there's a chance that the black news channel may not last further. If they're already laying people off, there's a chance that they might need, they might end up folding. We'll have to see because Khan, the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, I'm sure that he is not looking to lose money on his investment. He might just pull out himself and say, you know what? I've already lost $50 million on this investment. I'm not investing anymore. Or if he owns it outright, he could take it over and change it to something else. He might decide that, you know what? This black news concept ain't working. I'm going to take this network and turn it into something else. Cause the black news is not working. He might do that because he has majority stake in the black news work news channel. I don't even know why we can even call it that at this point in time. If he has the majority stake in the business. I don't know. I'm at 22 seconds and 30 minutes. So that means this news short is coming to an end. That's the whole point over here to give you the information quickly, rapidly within a short amount of time and then in the stream. And then I could possibly come back within an hour, two hours, depending on the story. But before I go, let me bring up this break. These other breaking news stories. I was going to do individual videos on this, but I figured let me just talk about it right now. Here's the breaking news. This brother right here, I want to say, may he rest in peace. This is a member of the Roots, Leonard Hubbard, a member of the Roots for 15 years, dies at 62 years old. The musician and tour, he toured and recorded with the Philadelphia Hip Hop Band for 15 years. May he rest in peace. Let's say a pr give a prayer to his family. I remember him vividly. He always would have the little wood or the little, the little thing in his mouth. He used to have that little thing he would chew on in his mouth. Some type of wood, some type of bark, something that he would chew on in the mouth. And he would play that damn guitar, that bass. He has passed away from what they call is cancer in the blood. He was struggling with a condition for years. Blood cancer, if you can believe that, unbelievable, that he suffered from and it took him out of here. So I want to say much love and respect to him, to Leonard Hubbard, Hub as they called him, from the roots. Give love and respect to the family. May he rest in power empower i hate to see this brother go i really i really do and also this was hot off the wire i was going to do a separate video on this one but this is hot off the wire because i grew up with his music this is my era of hip-hop i go way back to the late 70s and early 80s another breaking news report Kango Kid. Kango Kid is another brother, hip hop pioneer, U2, UTFO. Back in the day, he was a known break dancer, rapper, the whole nine yard. This brother represents what hip hop was really all about. What y'all know about UTFO? He has passed away, unfortunately, 
with his battle with cancer, colon, can- black men, we've got to take care of ourselves with his battle with cancer. He passed away, just broke, the story has just broke today. I believe he was 55 years old. Give him some love and respect. Give him love and respect. He was a pioneer in hip hop. I loved his style of hip hop. In those days, nobody was walking around with their pants below their butt. Back in the day, when brothers were rapping, they were into wearing their clothes. They were into wearing, carrying themselves. Yeah, they had some hip hop fashion back then, but nobody had their pants below their you know what's. Brothers were into wearing their clothing. The reason why he got the name Kango Kid, it should be pretty obvious to you all, is because he was known for wearing the Kango hat, which you see on his head right now. So he has passed away. Give prayers to his family, his loved ones. May he rest in power as well. Brother Leonard Hubbard of The Roots, in the, as a band member, he has passed away, unfortunately. Give him some love and respect as well. That is one of the breaking news. With that said, I thank you for all coming over to listen to your news shorts. Let me go and say peace and respect to Gloria Murray in the chat room. We've got Little Rock 2517. Thank you for coming over. Ray Sunshine, Vernon Junk Closet. Good to see you. Queen Ray of Sunshine. We've got... Um, let me see. We should have natural is in the house as well. And I'm glad to see that she is here. I'm glad to see that all of you over here and that there it is. 22 minutes and 51 seconds. And I'm about to. I'm about to put it into this news short. So that's the news shorts. The black news channel is laying people off just before Christmas. What a bad time for people to be laid off from work. Uh, I feel for the people that are going to lose their jobs. And I also think that the news channel may potentially be looking at going defunct. If not for the owner, Khan, who got majority stake, he might decide to just take it over and change it into something else. Who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to keep our eyes on this. And also those breaking two stories that I gave you about the passing of two pioneers in a rap game. Uh, give, them, give that family your prayers. So with that said, this is your host, Information Man, and you've been listening to your news shorts. And just so you know, I could be back at any time. I could be back in an hour from now, two hours from now, about with another story. We just have to see what comes down the pipeline. Let me say peace to people that are listening to me on Twitter, both Twitter channels, your new shorts Twitter channel, your information, information man Twitter channel, all out there in Facebook groups. Thank you for listening out there in Facebook groups and Facebook uh, profiles that I have for both channels. Uh, thank you for listening out there in Twitch. I'm broadcasting all over the place and I thank you again. Take care. Make sure you come over to the YouTube channel and subscribe to your new shorts and also the information man show. I will be going live on Sunday to break another more, give you more long form content. You're going to love it. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Peace to P Money and Victoriously is in the house.